Let's test this thing out. Ooh. Wait a minute! Oh my gosh! This thing is nuts! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Serious Sim Siberian Mayhem. Sorry it's been a little bit, we got other things going on, I've been working hard on three laps, but we got some extra time, so we're back at it. Um, if I remember right, we're finally leaving the refinery, and now we're kind of getting into more open land. Hopefully, I think, anyway. We'll see. I also changed up a bit of things um, as far as the settings go. I changed the API to Vulkan because I've been noticing a lot of hitching and whatnot going on with DirectX. Um, and Vulkan actually tends to be a bit better in this scenario. And I've also tweaked a little bit more of the graphic settings and all that stuff. So hopefully we get a little bit better performance this time. Uh, so far, feels pretty smooth. So we'll see how it does when we got enemies left and right all right already starting it off with another skill point we'd love to see it oh yeah and I did change uh, Sam's player model too okay uh... yeah let's do that one Okay. Oh, this way. Ah, uh, here's where we actually get the rocket launcher. Oof. This guy had it rough. Here, let's save our rockets. Oh shit. Alright, you guys are being annoying. You sound angry. Maybe you should try to Bullshit. Ouch. There we go. Yeah, it definitely felt smoother, I'll give it that, but again, that wasn't a full-on just swarm, so... Ooh, snowmobile! Oh, baby. You showed up just in time. <laughs> Run him over. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> That actually jump scared me. <laughs> okay. Don't do that again. This in my sights. Got the lock. Trend guts raining down in three, two, one. What? I I I did not even shoot it. No. Who did that? Alright, everybody. Brand is going down. Get to the crash site immediately. Damn! These Russians just did my homework. Oh, nice there's yeah. see someone else playing blow up for once though. There's that line. Well, back on track anyway. Two. Yeah, it is nice. Instead of, you know, my shit blowing up, you know. Sam Stone is a traitor to the human race. Oh shot it, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Got some ammo. Let's 
keep following the trail. Okay, there's two ways I can go here. I guess let's see what the, what's up this way. Oh, got a sniper looking at me. Wait. Okay, I guess I'm actually supposed to go this way. Oh, I'm stuck on the tree. <laughs> Wee! Take care of that sniper. Thought he was still alive. Okay. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh shit! Well, All right. This is puzzling. Oh, shut up, Sam. All right. Um. Okay, so it looks like we have four things we have to make it get to. Um. Okay, I've gotten like this section figured out, but I don't know how to connect like any of these to this part. This is getting fucking frustrating. Okay, I, I might have to change something back here. Yeah, let's let's try going this way instead. Oh shit! Wait. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And. Oh, maybe. Boom. Okay. Right now, Jesus, that was stupid. Uh. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a key card. One of three. I can do two more of those. Oh shit. Ew. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the other two are not that complicated. That actually took me like seven minutes to figure that out. That was stupid. All right, but we got a key card and we got to get two more for something. Back down we go. What's this? Oh, side quest. Missing. Missing girl, approximately 10 to 12 years old, was seen near the old hunter's mansion not far from the lake. If anybody's nearby and has enough time and guns, please be a good citizen and check up on her if you can. Deliver the poor thing, the partisans, or the nearest refugee camp. Thanks in advance. I should check that out. See if I can help. Yeah, why not? What do I get? It doesn't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's check it out then. Um, okay. This is kind of spooky. Uh, I guess I can't go in there with my... Snowmobile, so Hello? Is anybody there? Help me, please. 
Get back to you in a minute. Just, just don't be scared, all right? Okay, so gotta find whatever belongings she had. I mean, she didn't sound very scared. I mean, it's Sarah Sam. The voice acting is terrible, but <laughs> whatever. Not gonna lie, the design in this game is actually really well done. Oh, the space mummies. Oh, and these damn vampires. Oh, damn it. Stop doing that. Okay. Kept flying everywhere. It was annoying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he was just standing there, so I didn't think he was going to do anything. Okay. Yeah, you know, it was just like standard kind of open snowy map and then we find this part and it's all ethereal sounding and spooky got skulls and stuff everywhere ribbons and looks really cool make sure nothing else is around here something Thumbs up there. Boom. Boom. I love the double shotgun. It's sounds great and it's performs great. How do I get this thing? Looks like just a time warp gadget. I don't really ever use those anyway, so probably won't use it in this case too. Anyone in this house? No, but they left me some grenades. I want to see if there's like any Easter eggs on the calendar. Not really any that I can see right now. No, I'm not going to spend an hour trying to look for one. Oh boy, looks like some shit's gonna go down here. This reminds me of that ice level in uh, Second Encounter, where you're in that castle and then it's nothing but ice. Oh, they were fishing. What? <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Alright, I found your to- oh shit, something's happening. Hey, something's going on. Oh, it's so hard to walk. It's slipping everywhere. Oh, 
Come on. <laughs> this is definitely a callback to that other level. It behaves exactly the same. Got him. Oh, I missed. All oh, these fucking vampires. Oh, damn it. Oh my gosh, okay, they're all here. I missed. Get out of here. Okay. Oh boy. Ladies, ladies, calm down. You'll all get a piece of it. <laughs> oh, this fucking tornado blizzard shit makes it a lot harder to see. I have no idea where they are. Okay. I think I got her. Alright, they're both dead. Good. Alright. That was cool. Hard to see, but it was cool. Don't fall on that. I don't know if I'm gonna die or get hurt. Oh, give me the armor. <laughs> All right, little one, I got your toy or things, whatever. There was also a key on that. I don't know if that does anything or if it was just another toy. Love that soundtrack. Holy shit. So far, it's been a lot smoother on the Vulcan API. So, might just have to stick with that one instead of DirectX. All right. Creepy girl. <laughs> Found your toys. Whoa. Thank you. Uh it's a spirit. <laughs> oh. She gave me some life gadgets though. That was hauntingly beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and uh, excuse me, a hoverboard scooter? Okay. It's got turrets on it and everything. Uh, downside of these quiet, compact vehicles is exceedingly short engine lifespan and low durability. Okay, so they probably they obviously don't last very long, but shit, all right. This is probably like the second iteration of like those hollow decoy things from Studio Sam 4. So they probably took these and were like, let's let's make those at least a little more useful. 
Instead of, you know, being a decoy, let's just have it, like, actually transport you or something. Alright, sick. Yeah, I'll probably use that at some point. Make sure no more goodies or whatever sitting around. I don't know why, but I felt like something was going to happen if I went in that. Oof. Damn. Something else that's actually not like an alien that is just sitting there decomposing. Alright, here we are. Back to... Regular... Mission. Oh, there's two ways again. Okay, well, it looks like there's a... There's a base thing right here. God, Sam, will you stop getting stuck on shit? Oh my gosh. Are you serious, Sam? Sam. I hate you. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Okay, there we go. Jesus. Oh, there was a barrel there. I could have used that. Oh, we got more freaking riot shield dudes. Stop that. Alright. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. Okay, well, this one's only got a few. <laughs> Alright, this one only has a few. Oh, it's coming from this side. I'm stupid. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, well, and yeah. I thought it that. <laughs> Just a pipe dream. Okay. The other one was way easier than the first one. What the heck? Ooh. What's this? T A C T remote control remote call for fire designator. The topographic artillery call targeter serves as a last resort device for emergency use in extreme combat situations it is connected to an autonomous network of edf maintained multiple launch rocket systems mlrs and designed to call for an artillery strike on any selected area combined with an advanced topographic and geo geodetic navigation system tact can be used with nectrissa's holographic interface for highly accurate targeting control okay that might be useful. I don't know how deadly the airstrike that they have in here is, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Alright, hopefully the other one is at least something like that. That first one was a bitch. <laughs> Alright, we got two. We're probably heading on to the third one now. I'm just gonna keep it in third person mode, that way I don't get stuck on random shit. I feel like I'm missing like an easter egg or a hidden secret in this big ol' open area, but I don't wanna... ...spend like 45 minutes just looking around. I, I'll just take in the scenery instead. Very nice. Oh, there's... There's another path up here. Oops, somebody's... Somebody's talking in there. We'll just ignore that. But maybe this loops back around with that other direction that we could have gone before we got the second station. I 
But yeah, there's definitely a station here. Give me the, the AK, thank you. <laughs> I hate those guys. Okay. There we are. Okay. All right. Time to lay some pipe. <laughs> in a disappointingly literal way. <laughs> okay, Sam. All right, this one looks like just as much fuckery as the first one, but still only three different ports. That doesn't lead me anywhere. It's definitely got to come from this way. Probably just one little turning point somewhere. Okay. Huh. Oh, there we go. Got it. My mom was right. I should have been a plumber. Okay. Ooh, another life boy and a uh defibrillator. I was like, what the hell is that thing called? And a third key card. Sweet. Alright. Let's head on back down this way. Damn, but why wasn't this a standard vehicle in the first place? This thing's fast as hell. Very nice. Alright, who was talking in here? Oh, I see ya. I see ya. Oh, I could have blew him up, damn it. Oh well. <laughs> that would have been a little more entertaining. Oh, that's what those key cards are for. Okay. Oh, and it's a skill point. Nice. All right. Start dual wielding everything at this point. Ooh, what's this? Siberian Star, issue 28, 1344, August 25th, 2058. Rumors regarding a strange discovery at a dig site near Aswan province have caused an uproar in Egypt. Or Egypt? Work is it? Oh, maybe this is like tying into the story from either First Encounter or, or the third one. Uh, workers from the NWOC Oil Corporation have discovered a system of artificial caves beneath the former site of Abu Simbel. 
which are al alleged to contain co ancient machinery and several unidentified objects that differ radically from any previously discovered Egyptian artifacts. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is probably just a tie into the story of the stuff that they find for the third game. All the Syrian uh, technology and all that stuff that they find in the pyramids and different locations in Egypt. Bullshit. I don't know if that's a dude there. Yep. Yep, there was. I saw the orange. No, 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 no. Stop that shit. Throwing bombs at me. Oh. Throw bombs at me or you get your head blown off. Alright. Well, there's a bunch of crows over there. We don't like crows. But, we have to go over there, so I guess. Hmm. New character? Okay. Eye for an eye, bitches. <laughs> well, I did. Ah, a familiar face. The legendary Sirius Sam. The equally legendary one-eyed Olga. Hey, I thought you were dead. <laughs> nah, you can't kill Olga that easily. I planned to head towards Tunguska portal after killing Tapodius the Strangler, but these Octanian bastards got really mad at me for some reason. She's got a so gunshot wound in her leg. About my death. Too. And everything was fine and well, until you showed up. Uh -oh. Well, what can I say? I'm not looking for a fight, but the fight always seems to be looking for me. <laughs> I know the feeling, but this place is full of bad guys, and they probably have backup incoming too. Not good for my cover story, and not great for you either, Stone. So, how about we help each other out? I'll go to the bell tower and cover you from up there while you party down here. You sure you can get up there with that leg of yours? Relax. One-Eyed Olga has gone through much worse. Already then. Here they come. God, why do I always attract the freaks? Myself included. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, it's time to do a wield. So, what do you do when you're not killing aliens? Me? Watch other people kill aliens. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You're a woman of culture. Now we, huh? To be honest, I didn't even see you. Stone, you okay down there? Oh, please. Yeah, I'm alright. Thanks for watching my butt. Have we met? Nope. Obviously, we have. We both know each other. Very well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take his walking animation seriously at all. It's so clunky. Ooh, this place is nice, though. Nice shooting, ma'am. 
That's nothing. Earlier today, I managed to shoot down a plane. Oh, yeah, Wait, you were the one that did that. So you shot down Brand? Yeah, well, I heard radio transmission, looked outside, saw a plane full of traitors, aimed, and bam, straight to the engine. Wow. You know, we'd actually make a really good team. Ah, uh, another time stone. Gotta stay low for a while and fix myself up. But I have a gift for you. Let it remind you of our time Ooh. together. Thanks, ma'am. Hope we'll meet again soon. Me too. And don't call me ma'am. <laughs> I'm Olya. Puka. I will take this for sure. Very nice. Ooh, we got even custom optics on there. Okay. Nice. I was gonna say I'll take that sniper off your hands, but obviously she still intends on using it, so but then that's when I forgot about seeing the trailer. This this crossbow was in it, so makes sense now. This is a pretty nice place. For considering, you know, all the other places in here. I'll be seeing ya. Couldn't help myself. What? <laughs> She's still talking. Okay. More bolts. Snow is picking up again. Hey, Ivan! Guess who I was talking to today? Oh, this dude again. Sam Stone himself! Sam... who? Stone? Serio Sam! Or that. I don't know no Serio Sam. <laughs> what? You... Ivan just... Shut up! <laughs> Clearly Ivan doesn't get it. Alright. Let's look around for stuff. Is this do oh. What's this do? Oh no, where is he? Where is he? What the? He wouldn't die! Okay. <laughs> oh, I understand. Holy kamikaze. Okay, yeah. He was blessed with extra health. And then he exploded into a bunch of little healths, little pills. Uh, these games are so silly. I love them. Damn. This kind of reminds me of uh, the Resident Evil Village. Like, it's got the same kind of vibes as it. I like it. Abandoned, broken down houses in the middle of some random village in Siberia. Snow everywhere, cold as hell. Out of control vegetation and stuff like that. Really cool. Alright, I think that's all the stuff in here. Let's test this thing out. Ooh. Wait a minute! Oh my gosh! This thing is nuts! Wow, okay. This thing is insane! Wow, it even goes through shit and hits other things behind it. Wow, okay, yeah, this thing is extremely powerful. I will take this over that other sniper any day. Holy shit. <laughs> and I can probably do it, yeah, because I just did the heavy weapon skill point. Wow. In any other given situation, I would say that this thing is overpowered. <laughs> but it's a it's campaign story. Wow. That is fucking awesome.
All right. You go in the house. Oh no. Bro, I can't shoot you fuckers in the front. Jesus Christ. One shot and they just blow into 50,000 parts. It's crazy. I mean, it's basically like a railgun at that point, not a crossbow. Some goodies in the house I almost forgot about. Very nice. Okay. God damn, this looks so cool. I think I missed. Hey, watch. I'll line them up. Boom, they're both dead. I'll deal with you guys in a minute. That is so nuts. Oh, brain. Yes, even the brains, like it, it deals a shit ton of damage to them. I want to save my crossbow for bigger enemies, not these guys. Jesus. Funny thing too is they're giving me a lot of ammo for it. I mean, granted I just got it, so they obviously want me to use it, but still, this thing is absolutely nuts. Well, I see something flashing red all the way over there. Probably going to be some kind of secret if I would say so myself. Huge open area. Yeah, something's definitely fishy about this. Yep. Oh, shit! Of course, it has to be these fucking things. Oh, damn, these things are fast, okay. Okay. Spawned all around me. But still got 100 health out of it, so. Worth. Oh. Oh, the multi rocket attachment. Very nice. Yep, I know. Very nice. More bolts. Oh, another life gadget.
Luckily, I haven't had to use one of those yet, but... Saying that now, I probably jinxed the fuck out of myself and I'm probably gonna use it here shortly. Who knows? Actually, wait, let me see if there's more. Yep, there's more. More here. I'll save those for... Something else. Oops. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh. Get out of here. Okay. AKs make that situation a lot easier. Alright. We move on. Get rid of those guys. Oh. Ah. I can't see at all when that happens. Doesn't matter because I can still no scope and it's fine. Get fucked. Sweet. <laughs> I guess so, Sam. I guess so. I have a feeling that something's got to be down here. Oh, yep. Such as a T-posed enemy. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, there's a secret gadget. There's two ways I can go. I'm gonna go this way. Since it's more so in the direction I gotta go. Okay, just just hold on. I'm exploring. Oh, yep, that looks like something. What in the hell is this? Oh, okay. Are you serious? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Did not realize they chased me all the way down here. Okay, what in the hell is this? Okay, there's a logo. Anything? Anything at all? Oh. What are we about to find? What the hell? What is this? Secret classic area? Wow. This is cool.
Wow. See, he was even playing the classic music, too. What an awesome callback. He even has all the classic items and their sounds. Wow, this is awesome. And of course, it's all silky smooth now because of the simple geometry. As soon as I head back outside, it'll drop. Wow, that was awesome. Hopefully I didn't miss any of those in the last two chapters. Because I guarantee you there's probably more. That was cool. I'm glad I found that. Alright, back to reality here. Sit the fuck down. Okay. I was starting to get a little bit of lower frame rate, so I lowered some more of the settings just a tiny bit. Not too crazy. Oh, another tact. And a skill point. Alright. Dual wield from different types at the same time. Gain increased shooting speed. 50. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one. I know explosions are bad. What is this? Time to put on the old thinking cap. Oh, okay, I, I see, I see. So there we go. Sam Stone, the smartest man on earth. Well, I did I, I did that, okay, Sam, but whatever. I guess you can role play it. There we go, that's a little bit better. Easy. I don't know if it was just because of the snow or whatever, but frame rate was dropping a little bit, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. Okay, there's no more rockets. But we should we should be good now. It's nice and smooth. This is a long ass chapter. I just realized we're already over an hour. It's fine though. It is a shorter game, so each chapter will be longer. Sam, you will likely encounter some Octanian sentry towers on the road. The only way to terminate this thing is to destroy its bioreactor. The core needs to cool down sometimes, revealing itself through the vent shaft. So keep an eye on that. Better get rid of its minigun turrets first though. Stay safe, comrade! Alright, good to know. 
top secret head of EDF intelligence of Southern, for Southern Siberia, General Redacted. <laughs> Enemy forces expanded their activities near the main portal in Podkamenya. I, 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 so, I totally said that wrong. Tunguska. Agent Redacted reports rumors circulating among mental troops regarding a high-ranking entity that is set to arrive on Earth and begin the last cleansing of our planet, awaiting further details. Alright, I'll save the rest for later. Got a new vehicle though, nice, nice. The fuck is that? Oh. Alright, I understand now. Okay, so where oh, are its minigun turrets? Is that it? On the side there. Yeah, that would be it. Okay. Okay, this is actually really hard. Uh, it's really hard to control this thing while shooting at the same time. Alright, well I got its minigun turrets. There we go. Nice. All right. Okay. Get off the damn vehicle. Okay. It is really hard to drive this and shoot that at the same time. Mostly because I can't really see where I'm going and I don't know what direction the vehicle is facing. That wasn't too bad. This crossbow made it a lot easier. Oh, another key card. All right, there must be a box or something up ahead that we can open. Oh, there's stuff up there too. I don't even, can I even get that? I don't even think I can get that stuff. It does not look like there's, a, can I? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm gonna die if I do that. Okay. Let's not do that. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Alright. Whatever. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'm supposed to go over there. See if there's anything over here real quick. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's stuff over here. Oh, there's another fucking turret. Okay. Wait, can I just... Eh, it just has a sh I don't think I can start shooting at it until it sees me. Okay, there's one. There's two. Yeah, this crossbow makes that a lot easier. Ow! Alright, you fuckers. There we go. Oh, actually, let's do this. Boom! 
them. Yeah, that was nice. Finally, an effective way to use the damn C4. Alright. Another key card. I have a feeling these are going to be used to open the same type of deal. It's a, another s secret box with a skill point in it. Which is fine, I'm not obviously complaining about that. These turrets, I said they'd probably be a lot harder if I was not using the crossbow. There's a nice little gadget over there. Oh, another uh, scooter. Sweet. This thing's nice and fast, too. It's a little bit easier to control, as well. Very nice. Another note. Syrian Siberian Star issue 34, 1349. Oh, this is more backstory on the Egypt stuff. Caves of some complex have finally been resolved. The conclusions reached by the National Scientific Team investigating a site are shocking. It's just an. Huh. Oh, interesting lore. I said I'm probably not going to read all of it. Just save it for later, or if you guys want to read it on your own, you can. Who's this? Okay, how do I get in here? Got it. Oh! Very nice. All right. Oh, here's that windmill. Oh, man, there's the final turret down there. All right. But this is that windmill that was in one of those screenshots. Okay, take it nice and easy, nice and easy. We don't want to die here. Let me make sure I have my crossbow out. There we go. Oh, there's a lot more water and stuff here now. Not as much snow, that's nice. Well, that thing definitely makes a terrifying noise. Oh, 
Almost dead. Oh, he closed it. Come on, open him up. Very nice. All right, get me off this thing. And that's the third one. The only other thing I don't like too is when you're shooting and he's driving it, he, he starts like leaning his weapon all the way over to the edge of the screen. I don't know why he does that. It's weird. Nice. I have a strong feeling that there's a secret over here somewhere. Not underneath. Nothing? Oh wait, maybe there could be something back here. Ah, uh, yep. Ooh. What is that? Secret weird potion. What the f- Okay, I regret it. Wait, what the fuck? All the little shit is big and big as little. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but <laughs> moving on. <laughs> it's like a uh, journey two, where all the tiny stuff was super big and then all the big stuff was little. Looks like we can't go on that one. Oh, this is nice. Finally a change for not seeing just fucking snow everywhere. Holy sh- I never noticed that before. That is a big ass vortex. Holy shit. It reminds me of the the El Reno tornado. Um, I think that one was like the the biggest one or the widest tornado. It was like two miles or something. It's crazy. Two miles in diameter. Oh wait, where's my? Oh, it's all the way back there. Oops. Ah, it's fine. It's fine, I'll make the rest of the way on foot, it's not too far. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, there's a lot more shit over here, too. Eh, we'll do it. We'll look and see what's up.
Surely there's got to be something over here. No, I don't think I can go out that way. Oh, okay, invisible wall. Yeah, I don't think there's anything for me out here. Oh, okay, I thought there was something in there. Well, maybe there's something. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Oh, yep. There we are. Cannonballs. Nice. Looks like that's it. All right. Hey, fellas. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and move on. Oh, yep, here's that box. Guess I'll have to walk the rest of the way. Yep, exactly what I thought. Skill point. All right. Um, gain increased shooting speed after reloading. Yeah. I think that just so right after you reload, it just shoots faster. I I'm not. I can't remember exactly what that one does, but judging by its description, I feel that that's what it does. Oh, okay, and that was it. All right, cool. All right, yeah, that was a longer mission. We're at an hour and 20 minutes, so. But nonetheless, that was still good. I enjoyed a lot of that. Like I said, I, I changed a lot of the settings to hopefully not have a choppy frame rate, but that might have still happened in some sections, so. Oh, well. All that aside, still a very fun experience. This game is lots of fun, and I'm enjoying it so far, so. We'll see what's to come, but anyway, thanks for guys. Thank you guys for watching the third chapter, and I will see you guys in the next one.